Hey YouTube, Alan here. So I've finished building my 3D printer and everything seems to be going pretty well. All the axes move in the correct direction, commands from the LCD screen are understood by the board, and the, both the hot end and the heated bed heat up correctly. So I figured it was time to start printing. If you haven't seen my build videos, check them out by following the link right here. Since everything was going so well, I thought it was time to start printing. My research on the internet suggested to print off a whole bunch of calibration cubes to really dial in the printer, but I thought that was pretty boring. I figured I have a lot of time in the future to print off calibration cubes, but now it's time for some excitement. So I fired up Thingiverse and went hunting for models. The first model I found that I wanted to print was a cute Spocktopus. And the second was the ultimate here robot that's included when you download Cura. So I sliced both of these models up using Cura with a 0.1 millimeter layer height, got out my white ABS filament, loaded up my SD card and got a whole nothing. As it turns out, the 8 gig SD card was too large for the printer board and so I had to go out and buy a 4 gig one. Once I got that and I loaded up all my models, I was ready to print. So here is the first print from my 2015 Sun Hokey Prusa i3. The cute spot was. As you saw, the model attached from the printer bed before it was done printing, but I'm calling this a success. The plastic printed, the details were pretty good, and I annoyed everybody in my household for the next 20 minutes after it was done, showing them the model and talking very excitedly. This model was scaled down from the original size by about 75%, so some of the details are really small, but I'm impressed that they still came out. For example, you can still see the Starfleet badge here on the model, as well as the Vulcan hand salute here on the tentacle, and the ears came out nicely. What's also nice is because it didn't complete, you can still see the in infill structure, which is neat to show people and to look at. I knew that ABS was going to be quite difficult to start with, so I had put down some printer's tape and a little bit of hairspray to try to stick the Spocktopus model to bed. That didn't work out. For the next model, I tried some more painter's tape, some more hairspray, and I upped the temperature on the heated bed. This model also has a smaller base, which I hope would help with curling up the ABS. So here's the second print, the Udamaker Robot. As you can see, this was a total success. It was my first successful print, giving me a successful print rate of 50%. Probably the only time I'll ever get that. The detail on this print, especially the face and the chest, is extremely good considering that I haven't done much calibration of the printer at all. I just did a quick bed leveling and a little bit of the extruder calibration. On some of the overhangs, there are some minor defects here focus on that. But there are some minor defects, but it's pretty good for a first print. And I've seen other people's first prints of this robot, and it looks a little bit worse than this. So I'm extremely happy with how I'm doing. If you like watching this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. I also really enjoy getting comments from you guys out there. I will be putting out a video on tuning in the near future, 
and I have more ideas in the pipeline, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.